Hey, Judy, what's up? V, can you come over, Stan? Something happened? Yeah. Just come. herself to express her undying gratitude to you for saving her ass. I was... I was only gone an hour. Checked her pulse? <laughs> She's gone. How'd this happen? I don't know. I told you, Evie was lying in bed, like always, when I went out, and I got back to... <sighs> Fuck. If I would just known, I'd have... Checked her pulse? V... She's gone. Don't blame yourself. It won't solve anything. I should have sensed something, that it was off. <laughs> Stop. Couldn't watch you 24-7. She made up her mind. Would have found a way. Always. Gotta do something with her. Don't want any trouble. I'm calling the badges. Can you carry her to the bed? As if that'll change anything. Not sure we should move her before the badges get here. She's just another dead whore to them. Nobody will care. The least we can do is treat her with some dignity. Yeah, I, I need to report an accidental death. North side, Jackson Street. No. No imminent danger. <laughs> Suicide. Tomorrow? No! Today! What part of dead don't you understand? No, she was not pronounced dead by trauma team. If she'd have had coverage, we wouldn't be talking. You don't want to move your asses. Why don't I come down to the precinct and trash it into bits? Now will you come and arrest me, you pussies? Fine, I don't give a fuck what you write me up for. <sighs> They'll be here soon. Told me to keep her on ice until tomorrow. Can you believe the boss? You know, to you, she was your best friend, so it's a terrible tragedy. But they must get dozens of calls like this every day. What are you? The fucking PR rep? No, just saying. Put something on her. I'd rather she look like a person than a body. Could you wait outside? Close the door, V. Please. Sig. Didn't know you smoked. Uh, quit. It's been years. But 
Right now, I need something besides air in my lungs. Please, V, just one. Here. That was her smoke case. She smokes some strange boutique brand. Well, that's heavy. Whenever she pulled on a new face, it was down to the details. A lot of people know the real Evelyn, who she really was. No. Nobody. Gave her some t space, time, she'd get back on her feet. Can't wrap my head around it. I never saw Evelyn as the type to give up. Come on. What she went through? I wouldn't call it giving up. Her condition couldn't think about anything else. Tech wise, she was clean. Dull shard was operational, uncorrupted. So, psychological trauma had to be that. Did some more digging, and her virtues found Woodman. He kept her and had his way with her. The things he did. And once he got bored, he pawned her off. Wait, so you found other recordings? Had another look at the corrupted ones. You know, not the static. Hard to pick up anything, really. At some point, I stumbled on something like an echo of the spat we'd had last time we saw each other. But I know she wasn't scrolling. Then why was it saved as a virtue? Got no explanation for it. Maybe. She recalled it later, relived it, almost. Implant could have been on when, you know, as a defense mechanism, escaping into the past so as not to live in the present. What did Woodman do to her? Did you see it? Yeah. And I really wish I could unsee it. No idea that guy was such a monster. I saw him as your average Trixie sleazebag. He puts on a convincing facade. I knew him, but I never thought him that sick in the brain. Gotta be something I can do about it. Like what? Don't know yet. Think I'll call Suze. Thanks, V. Sorry, but uh, I'd rather be alone now. I promise to keep in touch. Sure you don't need anything? No, but sweet of you to ask. Anything comes up, holler on the hollow. 